So tonight we're going to dinner at this restaurant called Craig's. We're friends with the owner. His name's Craig. Should be fun. He's a legend. Hey. I have this weird stigma around red wines because they always make me so sleepy. Yeah. Red wines like <laughs> so sleepy. They're red red is a aphrodisiac. What's that mean? Uh <laughs> Want to like hear a kind of funny story? It's like not that funny, but it was like coincidence. Yeah. So I was packing with you, and she goes, "I, I, I could have done it quick." <laughs> I could have done it fast, but I really wanted. What is this dance? This ski dance? I saw Drake doing it. It's Young Thug's like ski challenge. Wait, left. Yeah, he made everyone right. do it. Oh. So we're doing it. Yeah, he texted me and he was like, Can you do the ski challenge, Arlen? I was like, Are you ready? I wish everyone could come to Craig's with us. I get home, fuck the shit out of you. Even on your worst days, girl, you still kinda cute. If it go down, I'm gonna protect you, pull that stick out and shoot. All I want is your love, I can't see no good out to you. So our story today starts that very morning when Maggie and Emma, my childhood friends, and Liv, my friend from college, arrive in town from Boston. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Decoy bags like last time. Like last no, no, there's actually things in them this really? time. Really? Oh my god, the inside. Wait, it's really clean in here. That's the amazing host that I am. I always like to make sure that my guests have a gift on arrival. So I got the girls a few things from Kith. You might not want to read the whole thing. <laughs> Liv, you're a badass, and I am grateful for your unmatched vibes. These are for. <laughs> I love Arlen. <laughs> Maggie, what's Dear Maggie, here? I am so grateful for our friendship over the last nine years. This gift is for you to be the queen that you are. Love wow. Arlen. <laughs> I wonder what it is. You want me to scratch it on? I want to Oh my god. Wait, there it is. This is so funny. Oh my god, look at her. So let me be clear here. My intention was to get the girls a scrunchie and Calvin Klein's. You know, these pretty harmless, normal gift, I thought. But apparently what I purchased was um, slightly different. Wait, they <laughs> gotta be good at These are fire. They got, what should I wear to God for the night? One, I did not mean to um, get the girls mesh Calvin Klein. I did not, uh, whatever. Two, apparently some dude wrote a love song for Emma, so I'm gonna watch this. So I wrote this for a girl named Emma. It'd mean the world if you can help me get this to her. Your way out of my league With angel like beauty I don't stand a chance So I was hoping to get to just know who you are And maybe take you out
It's good. I know. My standard, my standard. I'm crying. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to YouTube.com. <laughs> you guys remember Jack? Right now, we're waiting for the girls. And we're going to go to Croft Alley and eat some food. I'm having some people over tonight. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a storytelling dinner. We're going to tell stories over dinner and see where the night takes us. Solid plan. I could fuck little mama with no lip lock. Bitch, you know what time it is on this watch. Yeah. Got that loud stuff in the zip lock. And the cops outside tell them kick rocks. I got models coming in and out, you know what I'm saying? Hey. I got it in, gotta get it out, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Still got a drip when I'm in a drought, you know what I'm saying? Please don't slip on the way out, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. This was midday here, just uh, getting some work done. I've got about three hours before people start showing up tonight. Um, the concept tonight is storytelling dinner. So people are coming over, bringing, the, bringing a plate of food each, and then everyone's gonna be like telling stories. So should be quite interesting. Okay, cool. We're you know we're driving. We're on a mission, Death Valley. I speed up, and I don't know what miles are. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side of the highway, we see a trooper car. And this is the first time we've seen a trooper in like all of our days in the United States. And the trooper puts his lights on, and we're like, wow, that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so he takes all the shit away. <laughs> He comes back 10 minutes later and says, I clocked you at 100 miles, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it at 75. Mm. Just because, you know, I don't know, maybe you're white or maybe something else. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I clocked you at 75. Um, so, so you've got to, you know, you've still got to pay the fine, but I don't know what the fine is because you have to go in front of a judge. You have the option of entering your details online and the verdict gets, gets presented to you automatically, or you can appear in front of a court in Vegas physically. And so we're like, yeah, thank you officer. And this is very, you know, very justified that you reduced it, you know, by 25 miles an hour, which is great. Make it close to the speed limit. That's fantastic. And then we were driving away and, and me and George had this discussion about like, okay, we can either do this online or we can appear in a court in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> We've experienced the first half of the criminal justice system in the United States. <laughs> this trooper spent, you know, he, he almost destroyed his vehicle crossing the desert between two highways to get to us. <laughs> Thank you. Why would we simply enter our details online <laughs> when we could organize another trip to Vegas to appear physically in the Vegas District Court. So after, after this evening, I'm going to be sending out a Google Meets invite. Um, I'll be experiencing the second half of the criminal justice system in the United States. That's my trip.